guys, Randith here, and today we're going to be putting together this big ass four player cabinet from Game Room Solutions. You can see my monitor finally came in along with my USB hub, so we should be good to start assembling. Now it's not just in this box, it's in three. Here are the other two, and these are all like two people carry heavy. So we'll see, this thing is going to be ginormous, but. There's the bar top, still waiting on a couple parts to come in so we can finish it. But yeah, these have been sitting here for like two months, so it's about time to put it together. For our posterity, there were two trash bags full of packing material and otherwise cardboard and boxes for the three of them. Lots of stuff. I guess we'll do a rundown of the parts. There's these little ones, that one's for the monitor I assume. Probably some back plates. Here's the uh, control panel top. See all the joystick, which I'm not thrilled about the angle that these are at, but I guess that's all good. There's the acrylic for the top of it. Some more parts. couple pieces, hardware, team molding, instructions, I guess. Here's the top. Olivia Wild. More parts and pieces. Can't believe I put these backwards. This lady. Another back. This is the Olivia Wilde bottom, figuratively and literally. There's the, whatever that's called, Benzel. The other lady bottom. Some back pieces. Assume that's for the speaker, which is frustrating because it said four inches on the website and that's clearly bigger. Assume this is the bottom and the front, which I opted for no coin door. Better or worse. And the marquee here. So we'll probably put that in till we get a hyper marquee. Let's start assembly. My last video, I documented my bullshit problems with the system for the bar top. Aside from the cat over here knocking on my cams on the floor. So this is a mending plate meant to attach the top and the bottom. So if we line up the bottom hole, we can see the top hole doesn't line up. And if we top the bot or the line up the top, I love my cats. So yes, the holes aren't lined up. How bullshit is that? How much was this again? We're one step in. Problem number two, also on step one. So you're supposed to install these clips and it's got two little pre-drilled holes here. And that one is not even close. Which means the little clip that cooks onto this is probably not gonna line up because it's not the right piece for which this cabinet was designed. Okay, so I guess it was kind of me. I had the clip on the wrong side of the clasp. Uh, but both steps say to put a clip on, so. There you go. Anyway, here is the step two or one or whatever it is. Put team molding on this part. It has this big hole right here on the very bottom. So I expect whoever made this does not have five little terrors that like to get into everything. So we may have to put um, chicken wire or something on there so they can't get in there. But we'll figure that out later. On to the next step. But it does look huge. My first thought on this bottom part here is there's nothing. There's no feet, there's no T molding. It's just going to be sitting on the wood. I'm not too keen on that idea. We have to figure something out. So I'm putting the cams in the back of this, and I figured I'd try and figure out where the monitor needed to go. Uh, so I could put those in 
and not deal with this issue I had last time on the bar top, but I got to my monitor, this big ass monitor, and I got the monitor deal here, and it is big enough to actually fit this monitor right now. My only concern is it won't go down far enough, but it should, it's pretty big. But anyway, these are M4, and this little kit I bought from Amazon last time, that's like a monitor mounting kit, only had four M4 screws that were long enough for this, which is extremely frustrating, because now I'm gonna have to go figure out where to find more M4 screws, because I couldn't find any last time, I obviously had to order them. So, that sucks. All right, here we got everything-ish done. So good. The only thing is this board, I put these two in first and then this one, and it, it was tough. I kind of had to work it around to get it to go in there because there's kind of interference here and here. I mean, you can see it's gonna be tough to get the top on because those are so close. But these cams right here are for the speakers. Then we gotta put two in the appropriate place for the monitor. Slide the bezel in here and stick the other side on. So what I think I'm gonna do is put the cams in and set it on here so that it doesn't get broken, you know, so that it can't wobble around like this with the little tears. And then figure out where I can find those those mon monitor mounting bolts because I looked everywhere last time for the bar top and I could not find really any metric bolts in Houston. So surely there's a place around here somewhere. But yeah, you can see this is how they mar mount the marquee. It just slides into these, these grooves between the T molding and the board here. So I should measure that before I put them in there. So I know what size I need to get for hyper marquee. All right, keep cracking. So another issue I ran into with these uh, mending plates, installing them, you can see they're meant to go one way so that the screws can be countersunk. And if you turn it over, it's just flat. So if you look at these mounting bolts, it's obviously the wrong way. I mean, it works like this one, but it's, it's not as, it's just one of them little details that could be fixed. Another fun thing, focus. We got a blister for my damn screwdriver. What the hell is that about? It's never happened before. All right, I put the top on as I said. One thing I don't like is the reason, they have this monitor, or this side in two pieces for shipping, right? So, you can see there's like a, probably a quarter inch of material they cut out here. So it doesn't line up, it looks ridiculous. So the other side probably looks just as bad, but this wasn't nearly as hard to put on as I thought it was. It did bite me a little bit though. So be careful of that. All right, well they're just sitting on there so that the little terrors can't break it while we search for bolts. All right, so I'm gonna assemble the control panel. So here's the bottom, there's the top that the little terrors knocked over. All right, so there's T-molding on most of these. I gotta put on. And these are for USB ports. And you can see it's got the screws for the hinges so you can open and get to it. All right, let's get this done. Oh, and another thing is, see this T-molding is from the bar top and this is, no, this is from this little stand right here and this is from the bar top. And then this is the stuff that actually came with this kit. So I haven't actually used this yet. So I expect when I get done, I'm gonna have five or six feet of extra team molding that I can use on a future project and not have a bunch of these little things laying around. So, you know, as long as they're all the same color, I guess that helps. Another critique I have, and it's kind of minor, is the stand here and this big one came with these bundled and taped together like this, like it wasn't that previous thing. And when you do that, it kinks the team molding like this Sorry, you need it to focus. And it makes it extremely difficult to install. So if they can do it in a little circular roll so it doesn't do that, that'd be awesome. 
So now a smart person would have put these in first, but he didn't think about that. But it's all assembled. Um, so I, I put these out here so I could put the little, they give you these metal brackets for mounting the joysticks. I figured it'd be easier to put them on here while they're upside down, but one thing to note is I would assume most people would like the joysticks oriented this way, straight up and down versus facing the screen, because I have a sneaking suspicion it's going to be awkward. So I may have to take it back apart and put holes to orient it like this. And I specifically asked him about that, and he said it's this way. So it, it may be a personal preference. It's hard to say. I have to play around with it, but this little Ninja Turtle cabinet we got is oriented like this, not like this. So, we'll test that later. I'm putting the T-molding on here, and you can see there's kind of a QC issue that they might could fix. The T-molding hits the deals here. This side isn't bad, but this side is, I don't know, I should probably cut the T part out of there. But honestly, it's probably fine. So we got the top pretty well assembled. Their miters here could use a little work. The pieces are just a little bit too long, and you can see, well, kind of see right in here, it doesn't fit, whereas up here it's pretty flush. This side is somewhat more noticeable. There's a gap there and it's pretty good there. I don't understand why they didn't team mold this part. That really doesn't make any sense. Alright, so we'll put the door on and about good. Now, there's two ways you could have done this with these on top or on bottom, but if I'm going to start screwing control boards and amps and stuff down, I wanted to make sure I didn't hit this. So I put them up so I could see where they were, you know, easier. And this piece has a tool mark in it for some reason. At least it's on the inside, I guess. All right. Oh, and update on the monitor situation. Dug around in the box, and apparently there were screws for it. So that's cool. wonder why they didn't do that with the bar top. May have just left them out or whatever, but they're even the right size. So we can do that today. But we still don't have these speakers. So here's the cabinet lid mounted or control panel so there's this is a four player machine and this is for the dedicated four-way joystick where you can set these on eight for games like galaga and pac-man and stuff the really old ones and i figured eventually i can get those motorized ones that automatically switch uh, via led blinky and i could put a flight stick here so Maybe that'll work out, maybe it won't. Maybe I'll just mount it here or something, I don't know. But, yeah, we got this working pretty good. So. Yep, now we gotta mount all the buttons and everything and it'll be golden. So two problems I'd like to illustrate. <clears throat> First, this hole doesn't have one for the cam. What the fuck is that about? I have to go drill it out. And second, this is as down low as it goes. And look how much of a gap here. So I'm gonna have to mount the monitor upside down, which, you know, Windows will tell it to flip. I don't know how to do that on the Pi, but this one isn't that big of a deal. It's just frustrating. All right, I got everything all packed up, ready to Take a break till we can go to Walmart or something and buy some different speakers. Some six and a half versus the four inch. And if you notice, this has four bolt holes, right? To bolt the control panel down. But if we go over here to where it mounts, can anyone guess what's missing? That's right, the other set of bolt holes. Jesus, come on, man, you can do better than that. Here we are. Here we are one week later. I got some speakers, six and a half inch, and you can see this one has the same problem the other one did in that 
the speaker sticks out from the mount, which, I mean, I think this is just like standard procedure. So what I had to do, because this is flush mount again, is to do what I did with the bar top and get some little spacers and put here. But who has little spacers like this? I got my washers and it took 11 of them. So I had enough to do two screws, not two speakers, but two screws. So this happy little kit that I bought to mount a monitor with came with these spacers about this big. So I took a hacksaw and cut them in half. And that's about right, but then they don't really fit very well. So, I mean, it's in there, but it's not happy about it. And if you get them in there too far, well, that's probably an easy way to see it they'll start hitting the, the speaker there so you got to kind of keep them out like this i mean this could be solved very simply by having a competent person measure the speaker or a general one i mean they're all six and a half or six and a quarter whatever inches in diameter and keep your ring like this and mill out this i mean you could even keep your fancy pattern here and just mill out a circle about half the thickness of your your board here i mean then no one would have these freaking problems it's simple again there's no quality control they don't build their product to see what problems people are going to have it's ridiculous <coughs> all right we got them all mounted put the speaker wire on labeled them l and r Although I don't know that the Raspberry Pi cares. Or no, this is a computer. It might care. So let's mount them and get going. All right, so after crawling around on the ground getting all dirty, we got all the cams in, we got all the mending plate screws in, monitor, speakers, which may or may not have put upside down. Um, so yeah, we gotta stand it up and put T molding in. All right, we got the T molding all applied. Looks pretty good. The cat hair is an added free bonus, as is that. So these are doors. That one and that one. So next, we got to put the control panel on. And we'll put the marquee that came with the kit in until we can get a hyper marquee setup going. Again, they only had these back two, so I had to drill these holes. They will say the kit came with these bolts, but it didn't come with any washers. So if I hadn't happened to have those from that mounting kit, I would have had to go to Home Depot. And if I hadn't had happened to have a spade bit big enough to do this, I again would have had to go to Home Depot, despite what their thing says. And not just this, but everything there is this sawdust crap everywhere. It's all over the floor and me and everything. All right, well that part is done. This acrylic obviously still has the paper on it, but we'll put, take that off so it doesn't get all dirty when we're doing the buttons. So all in all, not too bad. The cat paw prints and cat hair is free, as I said before. I do have some extreme criticisms based on how much I paid for this, but I mean, it's all right. It'll serve its function. So let me know what you think. Do you want one? Do you have one? Where would be a good place to order them from if I try it again? And stay tuned for the next video when we hook up all the stuff and get it working. Yeah, keep it real. Really appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think.